For most of us, these bizarre, otherworldly shapes are strangely beautiful. But the world's best aging researchers see something entirely different. They see the answer to possibly the most important and complex question of all time. Dr. Sinclair, as I look here, I'm seeing very cute little colored cubes. Well, these little cubes are actually the, the protein in our bodies that we believe controls the aging process. If he is right, Dr. David Sinclair has found one of the genetic keys that will reset our biological clocks. I think we've, we've passed a turning point in our, our understanding of the aging process. How did he discover these proteins? This looks like a barcode, but it's really a map of our genome, the blueprint for human life stored in every cell in our bodies. A few of these genes play a key role in the speed at which our cells age. Dr. Sinclair randomly tested tens of thousands of cells searching for the chemical that would activate those genes. We found them by accident. We stumbled upon this molecule from red wine. And when I, I looked on the computer, what is this resveratrol, and found that it was in red wine, I almost fell off my chair. Because, of course, we all have heard that red wine is good for you. So what does it do in the body? Well, what we have discovered is that resveratrol works on a gene which is called SIRT1 and this is a gene that controls the aging process. Resveratrol seeks out that gene and switches it on. And with that gene activated in the mouse on the right by a high dose of resveratrol she quickly turned into a mini Olympian running twice as far as the untreated mouse on the left. And they were eating a high fat diet, a fatty diet, and they lived just as long as a lean healthy mouse which means that they didn't get heart disease, cancer, even osteoporosis, and they lived 30% longer. Can you do this in humans? We have the same exact gene. And we think that resveratrol could have similar benefits in people. Realizing the blockbuster potential for his new pill, Sinclair teamed up with biotech entrepreneur Chris Westfall, together raising more than $100 million for further research. And we think that we can increase healthy lifespan so if you're in your 80s, you'll be behaving as if you were in your 50s. In the first human trial, a form of resveratrol successfully treated type 2 diabetes, one of the major diseases of aging. If everything goes very well, we will seek regulatory approval from the FDA in the next five years. I think a lot of people will say you're raising expectations. This, this can't possibly happen. My answer to that is, I agree, but it's true. What else can I say? Aging is really a set of diseases, and if we slow them down and cure them, people will live longer, healthier lives. And you're talking especially now about diabetes and Alzheimer's? So the major killers of Western society are exactly the diseases that should be able to be treated with the drugs we're developing. Well, you know what, doctor? Cheers. To the future. In November of 2006, Red Wine Holds the Answer was a headline in the New York Times. One month later, Newsweek published an article entitled, Can We Slow Aging? A compound found in red wine may extend the human lifespan. In the February 2007 issue, a glass of red wine graced the cover of Fortune magazine, accompanied by the headline, Drink Red Wine and Live Longer. Inside, the article begins with this bold question, Live Forever? So what exactly is in red wine that makes it such an anti-aging superstar? Only recently has science identified the key ingredient, and that key is resveratrol. Resveratrol has caught the attention of prominent scientists everywhere, including PhDs at Harvard Medical School. Dr. David Sinclair of Harvard Medical School recently published his discovery that resveratrol allowed mice to live 30% longer, prevented them from becoming overweight, improved their motor function, and also protected them from diabetes. This study was so groundbreaking that it was published in Nature, the world's most respected leading scientific journal. Resveratrol is turning out to be one of the most revolutionary breakthroughs in modern science. In addition to Dr. Sinclair's findings, resveratrol has also been demonstrated to help prevent the risk of heart disease and stroke, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, certain types of cancer, and has also been shown to increase exercise endurance writes David Stipp in Fortune magazine. You'd have to go back to the advent of antibiotics to find such a broad therapeutic potential. 
Resveratrol is found in the skin of red grapes and can most commonly be found in red wine. One glass of red wine contains a mere half milligram of resveratrol. Practically speaking, you would have to drink hundreds of glasses of red wine each day in order to reap the full benefits of resveratrol. And many people are either incapable or choose not to drink red wine. But what if there was a way for everyone to get the health benefits of resveratrol without any alcohol? What if there was a supplement that could help everyone feel better and look younger? A supplement that could help protect everyone from the diseases associated with aging? What if there was a supplement that could help everyone live stronger and longer? What are you going to do now? I was going to go upstairs for a minute. Oh, I meant with your future. Your life. Well, that's a little hard to say. Ben. Excuse me. Mr. McGuire. Ben. Mr. McGuire. Come with me for a minute. I want to talk to you. Excuse us, Joanne. Of course. Thank you. I just want to say one word to you. Just one word. Yes, sir. Are you listening? Yes, sir. You. Resveratrol. Exactly. How do you mean? There's a great future on resveratrol. Think about it. Will you think about it? Yes, I will. I've said, that's a deal.